third and a long three now. They'll send Porzell all the way out to the far side, wide to the right. They'll send at least four receivers into the pattern. They pitch it to Jenkins. Jenkins cuts it up the middle. He's got the first down of more. Jelani Jenkins fumbles the ball right into the hands of a St. John's player. Then it comes loose. Cameron Webb had it first, but then falling down on it, I think was Antoine Bailey, and he does. And the first turnover of the night goes to the St. John's Cadets after that first down carry by Jelani Jenkins. And it looked like Cedric Watson came up with that fumble. And, and once again, Jelani Jenkins broke it up, side, up the sideline, turned it upfield very well, almost broke it all the way. Unfortunately, coughs it up right here. And you can see number 22 put his head right on the football, and that's what caused the fumble. First hand right into the hands of Cameron Webb, then it came loose. Third down and six for good counsel. Wide to the right, Dan Flaherty split to the right. Will be battle best. Porzell comes up into the pattern. Jenkins is single back. Campbell looks, throws across the middle. The catch is made for a first down. Dan Flaherty makes the catch at the 40 yard line. And Good Counsel gets the move the chains on their first drive of the evening. Campbell sets up very nicely here. He's got good protection, lots of time. That's a great catch. That is an outstanding catch. Dan Flaherty talked to his dad just before the game. That's right. And I'm sure he's going to be happy to see that one. In for the field goal attempt. Out of the hold of Gerald Moore. It'll be a 32-yard field goal attempt. Middle of the hash marks. It is blocked right up through the middle. Knocking it down is Matt Voigt. Voigt comes through untouched. A big defensive stop for good counsel. And it was led by that man right there, Matt Voigt. This is a spectacular play. Voigt is in there almost before the ball. Okay, there's no chance at all for the kicker. And Voigt has three big plays in his first series. El Sasser never had a chance. Neither did Gerald Moore, the backup quarterback, the senior. Brown talks it over in the backfield. Handoff to the far side. Bailey looks for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown. Antoine Bailey, the one-yard carry, and St. John scores first on the road at Albany tonight. Antoine Bailey had the real estate out to the far side. Once he was able to turn the corner, he was able to take it in. And I'll tell you what, I think that play was designed to go off tackle. He had a good kick out block there, but the athlete that he is, he saw some daylight to the outside, turned it on, and nobody touched him. And the first guy to go over and congratulate him, Big Peter White. The cadets on the two-point conversion attempt. Hawkins is going to pass. Looks left, looks right, rolls right. Now stops. He's ball the way back in the 20. Tucks it away momentarily. Now he's going to run it. Looks for the end zone, and he is in. Almost reminiscent of what we saw here in Montgomery County last year from a Deontay Twyman. Looked everything over. Looked to the left, looked for the right. Tucked it away and took it in for two. Now I'm going to have to check that guy's uh, birth certificate. He does not act like a sophomore to me. I'll tell you what, he went back there, he was under pressure, just took his time. Look at him back here. He's dropped 15, 20 yards deep. Looks downfield. They've got to respect the receivers, of course. Okay, but then he takes off and uh, basically uh, walks into the end zone. That is a ridiculously good play by the quarterback. Battle best, we saw him off the opening kickoff of the second half, run one back to midfield, and now he will drop back to receive this punt. And St. John's has had trouble so far tonight with this special team. Let's see what happens this time. El Sasser let it go at about his 35. They short snap it. They short snap it to Bailey. Bailey all alone. Bailey with the first down and more to go. Antoine Bailey looks for the end zone. Touchdown, St. John's on the fake punt. That is a huge call by Joe Patterson. That is fantastic for St. John's. Okay. As we said, they've had a little trouble getting kicks off tonight. So now they're going to put the ball in the hands of one of the best players in the area. Bursts up the middle. Makes a nice cut. 
and there's nobody going to catch him now. That is a huge play for St. John's. A little bit of a stiff arm right here at the goal line to get it in with a shoulder, and he takes it into the end zone. A 55-yard touchdown run. Split backfield, handoff goes to Jelani Jenkins, untouched into the end zone for a touchdown. The junior fullback takes it in. First touchdown of the night for good counsel, and they're right back in this one. And good counsel does a real nice job here. Good lead block, Jenkins walks in untouched. And that's just what they needed, and they are right back in the ballgame.